Hey everybody, I am back again, and this time I'll be reviewing Jada's Metal Diecast Hollywood Rides Transformers Autobot Optimus Prime Diecast Vehicle. Before I get into the truck, let's look at the packaging. Done up in a nice original G1 style box art. Uh, you got like a G1 style drawing of Optimus Prime right there. The Transformers more than meets the eye. You just can't not sing that, can you? Heroic Autobot, a nice uh, lime, bright neon green. Autobot, Optimus Prime, C Robot on chassis. It is also part of the diecast metal or metals diecast line. Inside, you can see the original like grid pattern that a lot of toys had. You got the Transformers imp logo here. Autobot, Optimus Prime on that. The, the metals diecast. Uh, logo up top you got a product shot of what the bottom looks like and what the truck looks like now this is actually the 124 scale version of the truck that's coming out later in october so kind of weird they put the bigger truck design instead of the actual truck on it oh well the transformers more than meets the eye logo her about right there transformers prime this is the hollywood rides metal diecast jada toys inc websites address made in China on the bottom tells you how to get it out by removing screws here is your UPC code if that's something you need to look at the Jada logo information you know it's a uh, it's partnered with Hasbro and it is authentic Transformers product so that is the package let's get to the truck and I love this truck uh, I'm a big G1 fan um, I do like the movies. Uh, I'll admit, I do like a couple of the, the movies. The first few couple ones were all right. The later ones, eh, not so much. A lot, a lot of uh, stuff in them that just didn't need to be in there. But anyway, this one is based on the original G1 cartoon toy. Uh, you got a metal cab, which is only real metal on it, besides the screws and the axles that hold the tires together. You got chrome handlebars here here like you got four chrome handlebars you got chrome exhaust stacks with the i think these are air cleaners air filters that go back into the cab or from the cab i'm not sure i don't know too much about trucks all piping a lot of the detail back here you got like a little uh i guess access point to work on a transmission this is all plastic here these fenders are plastic you get some red paint on the taillights. No other details. Would like maybe seeing like an Autobot logo there or something. Because you got an Autobot logo there. Would have been nice to see an Autobot logo there. Uh, there is a spot for a trailer hitch. Or trailer for to be hitched up. But does not have a trailer yet. Maybe later on down the road. On the bottom you can see the... Uh, uh, Printing or the mold of Optimus Prime kind of looks like he's frozen in carbonite. No paint on it except for the Autobot logo on the bottom. I believe from the product shots or pre-production shots of the 124 scale version, he will have some paint de decked out or details on him. I might go back later and paint him up myself. You do get rubber tires on chrome rims, which is real nice. Uh, they, you know, on these these this line they do use rubber tires and on the dually tires there are separate tires on each wheel they are not a one sold solid mold piece put onto a rim a lot of the times when they do dualies they just do one solid piece of rubber and it is at some point maybe going to have a pullback feature because that is the pullbacks pullback uh box piece right there where the tires would go but it is free rolling and it does roll pretty decently also there are chrome uh gas tanks on the side which is really nice this big solid black piece you know plastic you know really nice so you know it is 132nd scale so if you have a lot of 132nd scale vehicles or maybe trailers it should fit uh, using my Pepsi Prime trailer, it doesn't quite. There's nothing for it to hook onto. Maybe someone can make a 3D printed piece that can go there for the tab to actually put a G1 trailer. But the back wheels are just gonna kind of float a bit, um, unless you like put it the tab right there. 
you know, it just doesn't quite fit, so, yeah, so a trailer is not going to really work out. And speaking of G1 Prime, here he is next to his G1 counterpart, which is really striking. They did do a really good job of capturing that G1 feel from the blues to the reds to the silver striping. Now, the G1 toy is a bit taller. This is, you know, re-released for G2 because it does have the Autobot symbol there. It would not have had that on the original G1 toy, not that I believe. And it does have the early tall smokestacks before they shorten them out because they were afraid, I guess, kids were going to jab their eyes out with them. I don't know, but yet they have tall smokestacks on this one. Now, I would have liked to see maybe an homage to these stickers on the back somewhere. Maybe, you know, a couple of lights here or the lights here. But unfortunately, they did not really do it that well. Or they didn't, you know, could only do so much with it. It is, you know, really nice to see it. So, you know, if you have a G1 Prime and you want to you know, have him in a robot mode, you can now have his truck mode right next to it. But you're not going to have the trailer, really. Just sad. But his design comes more from this guy. Your MP10. Masterpiece Optimus Prime. This one is the Year of the Horse Prime. I don't have the original non-gold chrome uh, painted up one. I like this one actually a little bit more better. Just wish, of course, the wheels were, uh, the rims were gold. But you can see a lot of the design was pulled from MP10. Lighten up a little bit. Let's see, move the camera up so you can actually see what I'm talking about. A lot of the designs were pulled from this truck to this, which is fun because there are a couple of uh, third-party companies that make this size MP10. <laughs> so now Jada's kind of done it. So it'd be nice to see maybe if this would be later, re you know, if Hasbro takes this mold and actually makes a smaller MP10 down the line. I'm not sure that would actually work because they do have... Uh, square or flat nose for like evasion modes and some of the ones that are coming out for the Bumblebee movie which kind of look like really bad uh, but still there's a lot in the detail it's there this one actually has a couple more details this one has the air horns where MP10 does not have air horns and it actually has, has an extra set of lights where MP is missing those lights but yeah you can see where they you know basically took this guy and made him into this which is really cool, especially, you know, if you're a G1 collector or you got to have, like, all the, you know, cab-over designs of Optimus Prime. Definitely worth picking up. Now, I did pick this up at Walmart. He was about $7 with the tax. Um, a lot of people haven't found him yet. Uh, ones that are are price gouging on eBay, which is unfortunate part of the hobby, but it is what it is. So, you know, keep your eye on, on your stores, Walmart, your targets. If you still have any... Kmart, or if you live up, live up in Canada, Toys R Us's, um, maybe like Big Bad Toy Store might get them in. I didn't check, so might look at there. Uh, of course, eBay prices are going to be skyrocketing right now. Amazon, you might find a seller on Amazon, but they usually are one of the same people, so they'll probably price gouge it on Amazon. So yeah, um, check your local stores. Um, if you go back to the video to start, see the barcode, use that. There's a couple websites you can use to check barcodes to see when stores are getting items in. So yeah, uh, I really love it. I recommend it to any Optimus Prime collector, Transformer Prime, Transformers collector, or even a semi truck uh, collector. You know, you don't see too many of these flat nose detailed. Uh, Kenwood bodies uh, in die cast in this scale you just find them in like Hot Wheels or Matchbox and they're really badly proportioned this is perfect for it and if you're a customizer you could probably paint this up you know you can remove those logos you can remove the side stripes you can make it into what you want if you're a good customizer especially if you're a good painter you can paint up Optus Prime on the bottom yeah so that is it for my look at this Jada Hollywood Rides Metal Diecast Optimus Prime. So if you like it, thank you for watching. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll be back in another video, and have a good day.